Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe... Glad to help. Well, if that's true, <sighs> nope. we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. 
First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that it's good it. to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. God but, damn it. Well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun? <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Ma'am. Now look who dog meat brought to us. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> Acting a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see, that give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. It's, it's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. That's all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. Hell yeah.
Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people could get past my boys. I give you that. Still waiting, asshole. Still waiting, asshole! Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hey there. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, yeah. it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome, anytime. Well, since you say that, 
Maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please, tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay.
Can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. oh okay. I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. Be damned. It's the monument to the original Minuteman. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. You want my two caps? We should keep moving. Don't want to be pinned down when the raiders come. more people could see this. Remind them what it's all about. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. I just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. <laughs> 